decided it was time to, um, you know, go through the safe, do some cleaning, uh, you know, just, just check up on my guns, you know. But anyways, I've seen some videos on YouTube, you know, everybody showing their guns. Um, so I guess I just wanted to do the same, you know. Um, so I guess we'll start with the handguns. Um, so right here, you got the the Breda Nano. It's sweet little shooting gun. Um, pretty pretty much stock. Um, I did upgrade the trigger. Um, it's got the Talon grips. Uh, this one has. Uh, it's also got the extended magazine, but it also comes with the standard uh, mag. Uh, right here, this is a sweet gun. This is the 96A1 Breda 40 cal. This is a sweet gun. Now, pretty much, um, I liked everything on this gun. Um, I really didn't do much. The only thing I added was the the hoe grips, the flat dark earth. Uh, but other than that, you know, it's it's pretty awesome. It's a great gun. Um, up here, I got the XD, uh, the Springfield. You know, this is a this is a great shooting gun. Um, I got this one uh, painted up. It's mint and flat dark earth. So this color on the on the frame itself is the mint color, and then of course the flat dark earth. And, uh, and it was all done professionally. It holds up really well. I like it because you know you don't have to wor really worry about rust. You know, so you know it's a great option for uh, taking you know throwing in the backpack or on your hip while you're uh, while you're hunting. You're not too worried about it getting you know wet and not taking care of it right away. <clears throat> But, uh, yeah, that's also, uh, this one's a 45. And, unfortunately, this is the only Glock that I have right now. Uh, it's the, it's the Model 21, 45 cal. Um, pretty sweet, pretty sweet gun. Um, it's a Gen 4, you know, pretty much, uh, the only thing, I just upgraded the trigger. Um, I got the stainless steel pins. The takedown pins. Um, I got the the takedown levers, also stainless. You know, still got the the factory sights. But all in all, a great gun. The only thing, you know, I mean, the only thing I can really say is I should have got like the uh, I believe it's called the the FS. It's like the the short frame or SF. Yeah, it's a short frame model, which I believe it's a little bit narrower. Uh, uh, grip on the frame for people with a little bit smaller hands, you know, but uh, other than that, it's an awesome gun <clears throat> So right here, we've got the MMP line Right here. I just picked this one up we've got the shield. This one has the manual safety uh, You know, I found that the trigger on this one's you know, it's not too bad I've heard like the the first and second generation they had a problem with this trigger right here but, um, you know, I might upgrade it to the Apex. I haven't really shot this one, so we'll see how it does. Um, but other than that, it's a, you know, I've heard uh, nothing but good uh, remarks, you know. So we'll see how it goes. And then, of course, got the full size MMP. This one's a uh, 40 cal. Now, this is the two tone flat dark earth. Um, uh, it's got, I believe it came with uh, three magazines. Um, and yeah, yet again, this gun is all stock so far. It's got the stock sights. You know, it's not bad. But it's a great shooting gun. I love it. Oh yeah, both of those, both of those are uh, 40 cal. Right here, everybody's got to have at least one or two. Um, so right here, I got, this is the 229 six hour this is a sweet gun it's got the et grips got the srt trig um got the night sights um polish internals um of course it's double action uh yeah this is just an awesome carry gun it's great and then down here we got the, the full size. This is the 45 caliber. This is the 227. And man, this thing is awesome. This is a double stack 45. 
I mean, you can't go wrong with it. I believe it's 10 plus one. And then I think you can get, it's a 12 plus one extended uh, magazine. I mean, I could be wrong on that. I gotta double check. But um, yeah, this one's got the short reset trigger, E2 grips, um, it's got the night sights. Um, it's got the polished internals. And then other than that, I mean, it's, you know, all stock. Don't really need to change much except for the triggers in these guys. But um, there's the SIGs. Now here's all my Riggers. So we'll start at the top, that's the SR1911. This one, it's got full polished internals. It's got, um, it's got the, it's got the muzzle on it. Dude, this thing is freaking awesome. It really keeps the front of the gun down. Um, I really love this gun. Um, so it's got the upgraded uh, grips on it. I got, I got the 